Hello everyone, welcome, thank you for watching this video. So Abe's been pretty chatty to me lately about sort of like the next step in terms of my own evolution and my own ascension process and bringing forward information, bringing forward my own inner lost knowledge. And this involves me being able to merge my energy as Jessica with my higher self energy, which is Abe. And this is about integrating your higher self into your physical aspect. And even for you on your path of ascension on your spiritual journey, you might find yourself getting to a point where you're integrating your higher self into your physical aspect. And it's not about seeing you as separate from your higher self, but seeing you as integrated and as your energy merged. And when you're able to accept that merging of your energy, then you're able to accept and receive more information from your higher self, more lost knowledge from your soul memory, being able to pull that into your physical experience and your physical knowledge and awareness, and going forward on your expansion path and your expansion journey. And I think this is also why Abe has been sort of reverting me to referring to them as Abraham versus Abraham, because I've just been having Abraham in my mind for all these years, but they're making it more clear to me that the energy that runs through me, my vessel, as well as the individuals in the soul collective, soul family, soul group, or anyone who chooses to identify with this energy, has lifted into the Abraham energy. And it's very much about that vibrational resonance, the utterance of the words Ab Ra Om or Ab Ra Om. And not only the energy that's being relayed and integrated with me, but the energy that's being relayed into the messages that I'm putting out. Because this is about lifting up into our Abra Om energy, that Om energy, which is the love and oneness energy, alignment with your inner being, who you truly are, outside of time and space, past, present, future, and beyond. This is about integrating all of that, and you're receiving that energy as you listen to the messages from Abra Om. So I kind of just wanted to put this update out there and also as an indication for you on your path, like things are happening so fast and the integration with the higher self, I have a, I have a past video about how to connect with your higher self because we have that ability now to join our energy with our higher self if we choose to at least. Um, and it's about sort of merging the energy in a way, but more so Abe is saying that it's about bringing forward that lost knowledge. So it's the lost knowledge aspect of your soul and your higher self that really wants to make its way through into your physical experience in a way that you can start bringing it into that reality to start creating that new earth 5D with your lost knowledge um, and like sharing and connecting with others in that way. Um, so in that aspect, that's how your higher self wants to start joining its energy with you to bring that lost knowledge forward. Okay, let's get into today's topic. So for today's video, I actually recorded myself as I was receiving the information rather than I usually sort of receive information first, write it all down, put it in an organized way, and then I record what I have written. So um, today's a little bit different. I'm just gonna do a little introduction first. So in today's video, we talk about the sun, the inner earth sun, the outer earth sun, the 3D sun, the 5D sun, Ra's connection, the sun god, to everything that's going on, to the ascension process and what I was shown. Um, and I'm going to put a disclaimer out there. I do reveal some story plots to the movie Moana because Abe actually, in helping me to understand what was happening, referred to the movie Moana in making these connections for me. Um, but anyway, enjoy the recording and the information that came through. 
So over the past few months, I've been very much connecting to the energy of Ra, the sun god. Ra is playing a very big role in this ascension process. And it's very... um, Connecting to the sun is important, but we're at this kind of weird time in which people um, are existing either connecting to the 3D sun or the 5D sun. The sun is important. It's a portal. It's a portal of energy. It connects worlds. It it connects consciousness. It connects um, dimensions. It connects everything in the universe different galaxies, solar systems. Our connection to the love and oneness energy, our connection to retrieving lost knowledge is important. They have told us it's important in connect- in creating 5D Earth, yes, but it's more important in creating the energy where we are right now, that love and oneness energy, which allows Ra, the sun god, to connect more to the earth. Now let me explain. There is a portal on inner earth, and what we know as the core of the earth is not magma, but it is a sun, it is a portal of energy. Um, It is... uh, They're directing me to... This remote viewing that I saw on YouTube in which this girl uh, remote viewed the downfall of Atlantis and she saw a crack in the earth. She saw um, some sort of tunnel going into the earth and she couldn't explain it. But this is coming up and it's it's um, what's coming through is that sh- um, the Atlanteans were trying to utilize they were trying to connect to inner earth so the lemurians and the atlanteans knew that there was this um, portal of energy in inner earth the lemurians connected to this portal with their heart and okay so what's being shown to me is the portal the inner earth is a sun it is the heart and then um they're connecting it to Moana. So remember, for those of you who have watched Moana, Moana's mission was to restore the heart of Te Fiti. And they're telling me that the earth, it's its the same thing. Ra needs to restore the heart of Te Fiti, which is the earth. The This portal on, the, on inner earth is, it's the 3D earth portal. And the 3D earth portal um, let me back up. I'm so sorry. Um, so the Lemurians connected to this inner earth portal, the heart of Te Fiti, the heart of earth through their heart. And the, the Atlanteans also connected to this inner earth portal. They were aware of it. This allowed them to both raise their frequency and exist in higher dimensions. But the Atlanteans with their developing and evolving minds and their connection more so to their minds and technology and stuff like that, they wanted to know more about this inner earth portal. It didn't satisfy them to just know that it existed. They needed it to, they needed to tangibly see it or connect to it in some way versus the Lemurians could just go through faith. They just connected to it. They didn't, you know, have to question it anymore. The Atlanteans created this tunnel. One of their experiments was to go into inner earth and connect to this inner earth portal, this sun in inner earth, um, which is what they're showing me the connection to the, um, the girl in the remote viewing. She saw this, this tunnel going down. So I'm sure it's maybe the same thing. And then I'm seeing the crack of the earth. Um, so they somehow maybe reached too far. Something happened where they're telling me that um, basically they connected to source energy. The portal was too strong. The energy was much too strong. So that energy basically came up and was the downfall. It was it destroyed everything. Um, 
and then I see the crack in the earth. That was the destruction of Lemuria and Atlantis. And with that destruction, it plunged Gaia into the lower dimensions, into lower energy and frequency. And the heart of Tefiti, the heart of the earth, that inner earth portal, closed off. Or Abe was saying that it was it's mostly closed. But it kind of dimmed that portal. It closed the portal. And so now where we are today, that portal of 3D earth is mostly closed. It coincided with the um, merging into the linear timeline, which stretched us even farther away from everything. So with the closing of the portal and the coming into the linear timeline, I'm seeing like it cut off Earth from the rest of the galaxy. It cut off Earth from any higher dimensions, any higher frequency. It was like, that's why they refer to Earth or 3D Earth as a lonely planet in the lonely neck of the woods. It cut off Earth. It was like, it's just like a darkened place. It put Gaia into that dark place, um, especially with the closed off heart of Gaia. Now, if you've seen the movie Moana, you know that when Maui takes the heart of Tefiti, what happens is Tefiti, who represents this earth goddess or this island goddess, when the heart was stolen, Tefiti became this, um, like this fire god. It, she turned into like a darker god and um, was full of rage and fire. And what happened was in her transformation, because she was an earth goddess and she helped to create the earth and the abundance of the earth, when her heart was stolen, her the darkness started spreading out. It started affecting the oceans and the other islands. The oceans and the islands started dying. And Moana knew about this and she knew about the heart of Tefiti. So her journey, her mission was to restore the heart of Tefiti. And when she came across this fire goddess, um, this raging fire goddess, she knew that that was Tefiti and she restored the heart to this fire goddess. Once she did that, this destructive fire goddess turned back into Tefiti, the earth goddess, and restored the abundance to the earth and to the islands and to the ocean. And it turned into this beautiful, um, blissful place once again of like just abundant, an abundant, beautiful island. And that's what's being shown to me. Earth 3D was like Tefiti without the heart and just this darkness in the veins stretching out all across the planet Earth. And as we connect to our love and oneness, we bring more love into the earth. And um, they're telling me about Ra, like Ra, the sun god, could not reach inner earth portal, which is an inner earth sun, even though sun god, sun god, like it couldn't reach it because it was closed. So by us connecting to our love and our oneness, it opens up the energy of inner earth so that it allows kind of like it somehow allows Ra to connect to inner earth and restore the heart of the earth 3D. So this is about 3D energy, not 5D. Us connecting to our love and our oneness is helping 3D earth on the 3D earth portal side so that Ra can restore the heart, restore this portal, open up this portal so that it can transform into the new 5D earth. And I'm asking like, so 3D earth turns into 5D earth with the restoration of the heart, the opening of the inner earth portal once again. But I see the energy of 3D still continues somehow. Um, and it allows that transformation into 5D, but it pulls away from 3D. So 3D is still existing. That has to play out. That energy has to play out. So it allows, with the restoration of the heart, it pulls it into 5D. 3D um, takes its place in the outer reaches of the, of the galaxy to play out its existence. 
But restoring the heart allows Gaia to shift into her 5D, allows the people to shift into their 5D. Connect to the sun, connect to Ra, inner, the inner sun, the inner earth sun, the inner portal, as within, so without. We have the sun in our sky, we have the sun on inner earth, as within, so without. If you are connected to 5D consciousness and awareness, you are seeing the sun, you are seeing the 5D sun. The 5D sun, and I'm asking, does that mean that we're also on 5D planet? And what's coming through is like, not necessarily, but it's more like, it's that portal. So you connecting to Ra is important in helping to shift. It's it's still like pulling me back to 3D. Like we have to help 3D restore the heart of 3D, that inner earth portal. Okay, so those of us who can connect to the 5D sun, it allows us to more strongly connect raw to the 3D inner earth portal. So that's really important. For those of you who connect to 4D, that 4D portal, you have the portal to 5D. You can connect to the 5D sun, not or maybe not in the physical, but you can still connect to the energy of the 5D sun and pull that energy into wherever you are in your 4D portal experience. For those of you who connect to 3D still and connect to the 3D sun, which is kind of glitching out and like some weird things are happening with the 3D sun as it um, continues on its evolution, it's ever more important for you to start harnessing your love and oneness. It's like you're helping to, if you connect to your inner love and oneness, you're helping to kind of like sweep a clearer path for Ra to connect, for Ra to get there. Oh, okay, so if you've seen Moana the movie, um, when Moana, <laughs> you have to watch the movie because everything goes back to Moana for some reason. Um, if you've seen Moana, that scene in which she realizes that the that Tefiti is actually this destructive fire goddess, what happens is the water just clears a path and it allows Moana to walk to the destructive Tefiti, like through the like the waters part. And that's what we're doing and we're helping Ra to connect to Tefiti, the earth, so that Ra can restore the heart. I asked, can't any of these higher energies help to restore the heart of inner earth? And they're saying yes, but it's like it's it feels like it's Ra's role to do this. We are helping Ra to join the Ra energy with the inner earth sun, the inner earth portal energy to transform that inner earth heart, that inner earth sun, because Ra has the power of the sun. It's his role in some way. But at the same time, we have to look within. We cannot see these things as outside of us. So we have to look. We are the microcosm in the macrocosm, the macrocosm being raw and the inner earth in this whole experience. We are the microcosm. So I feel the macrocosm, which is the sun, and I feel the microcosm, which is me and us connecting as one. So it's like, yes, you are parting the sea for raw, but at the same time, you are also raw restoring the heart to inner earth. Abe is saying that in order to help, like in order to connect to Ra in a way in which Ra can sort of move through you and sort of use you as a vessel to help connect to inner earth, to help connect to Gaia, uh, inner earth heart, your heart needs to first be open. So, oh, that's why Abe is so adamant on helping people to open their heart and kind of tune into love and oneness. 
So this is why it's so important to open your heart because it allows you to connect to the energy needed to move through you and your heart, your open heart, to help with Mother Gaia and help open Mother Gaia's heart in the process to make that shift into 5D. Oh, okay. So also, because we are that microcosm within the macrocosm, it's like we're also restoring our own hearts. Okay, so it's like us restoring our own inner hearts helps in that process of restoring Gaia's inner earth heart, the inner earth sun, inner earth portal. Um, yeah, this is just like <laughs> kind of layering on top of each other, twisting in and out. Um, and of course, everything is connected. So as you open your heart, you're helping to affect Mother Gaia, inner earth heart. But then that also helps you to get that lost knowledge retrieval process going so that you can then start having or retrieving your lost knowledge from your soul level and start becoming aware of your lost knowledge um, and bringing that forward into the creation of new earth, into the creation of 5D, into this whole shifting process. So everything's connected. I'm going to put a clip of that scene in Moana where the sea parts and she restores the heart of Tefiti just so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about if you haven't seen the movie or need the reference. Um, the scene makes me cry every time, but um, Abe has been saying that there are breadcrumbs being held within specific high vibrational movies that offer knowledge that we should be looking out for if we need that sort of conceptual type of, of way of understanding. And that's it that I have for this video. If you have any questions, leave them below. Until next time, we are Abe and Jess in oneness and love.